Hello everyone and once again welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. My name is Dr. Lokendra Singh and today we are going to talk about Nginx. So Nginx is always considered to be a web server wherein the most cases where Nginx is used so that is as proxy as well as web server. But today in this video we are going to start a complete series of Nginx so wherein we will discuss about Nginx as a web server. So Engine, Nginx has always been a best performer and very high performance it is providing and moreover more than lakhs of websites and lakhs of companies are using Nginx as a web server. Okay so we, what we are going to discuss about so what is Nginx we will discuss in this, in this series. Nginx has always been high performance server why it, it is providing high performance server we will discuss about it utilizes low resources so why it utilizes low resources how it is like uh, resource optimized we will discuss about moreover we will see the comparison with apache so apache and nginx both have been always competitor and this becomes one interview question as well that what is the difference between apache and nginx moreover we will discuss about nginx configuration in practical manner like what are the options do we see while we configure nginx what all options do we have how do we need to configure it moreover we will discuss about the fast speed of nginx how nginx is faster what are the options we can use uh, related to nginx to make it faster and to serve you better then after to the point we will discuss only those particular points which are used in corporate environment which are used to optimize your web server moreover we will keep this series to the point only then after we will discuss about nginx nginx versus apache and nginx terminology like uh, as you must have seen the particular uh, nginx configuration file like location listen server file type and, and different type of directories are there so we will discuss about that that what are the relevance of it moreover we will jump into details like we will discuss about different modules of linux like why do we use zip module what does it do how do we set rate limiting how do we secure our nginx server how do we improve security then after uh, nginx optimization like what are things we can implement with nginx which can optimize it we will see that how to create virtual host location blocks so when we are talking about location so what does what does it mean how does it work uh, like what are nginx default variable and if we need to set custom variable so how we can set it rewrites and redirects it means how to rewrite a url or how can we redirect one url to another so these are the things we will look then after try files and named location we will discuss about so these are the fantastic feature of nginx which makes it faster and which makes it more uh, easy to configure logging how we can enable lo logging logging means like uh, if your website is working fine then obviously you need to check access log if there is a problem then you may need to check error logs and uh, the combination of both how you can save in the same file we will check about that inheritance and directive types so what are these we will discuss about php processing how does nginx work with php in better manner we will see that worker process so what does a, work a worker process mean how does it work what is relevance how many workers should be running on your operating system how many worker uh, do you need to decide for example there is one interview question that how many workers should be running on operating system so we will discuss about that what are the parameters based on which we decide number of processes which are running uh, on our nginx server buffer and timeout configuration we will see and uh, if you need to add dynamic modules because there are two methods using which you can configure your uh, nginx either using rpm maybe using apt.dev file then you can configure nginx using tarball so we will see all the methods here then after adding dynamic modules so obviously so dynamic modules we will see during this uh, series so stay tuned and keep watching next we, are, we will talk about nginx advanced options like how to configure ssl if you need to secure a site you want to use https then how to configure ssl certificates how to generate self send certificate how to how to use maybe let's inscript so which provides public signed or ca signed certificate for free then after how to do load balancing with nginx what is reverse proxy what is difference between forward and reverse proxy we will see the comparison how does nginx support http2 how to enable it and what all options are there 
so these are the things which we are going to see within this series and uh, that is just introduction video because obviously before opting the series i must be telling you that what are the things we are going to cover in this video so thank you so very much for watching this have a good time happy learning stay tuned with this uh, uh, engineering series and hopefully within this week i will complete it uh, entirely thank you so very much have a good time happy learning if you have any questions so do write in comment box i shall be happy to assist on that thank you very much have a good time happy learning